Bush in a counter to China's designs on the line of actual control, the center has rolled out a plan to build four border roads in Arunachal Pradesh totaling nearly 300 kilometers. Now, CNN News 18 has accessed documents in this regard showing the plans of Border Roads Organization to build these four roads in strategic areas where no roads exist at the present. Now, this could make the movement of troops and military equipment quicker to the LAC. Top government sources have told C News 18 that these roads projects will have been, will ha both have socio-economic and strategic impact on the area. Now, the roads could also lead to boost uh, on tourism. Remember, China has been constantly provoking India on Arunachal Pradesh and had objected to India holding a G20 meeting in Itanagar recently. In a counter to China's designs on the land of actual control amidst the continuing tensions since 2020, the Narendra Modi government is now rolling out plans to build four key border roads in Arunachal Pradesh. These are, will be totaling nearly 300 kilometers. The government has sought detailed project reports on them. News 18 has accessed documents in this regard showing the plans of the border roads organization to build these four roads in strategic areas where no roads exist at present. This could make the movement of troops and the military equipment quicker to the LSC as well as to the forward ITBP and army troops in the border areas. So as per details with the News 18, these four roads which are being built, the number one road will be from a place called Hayuling. It will go up through Dakru to Kundao to Kibithu. This is a road being planned in two sections. Uh, the road, 107-kilometer road will be from Hayuling to Kandao. This will be the first road. And then there will be another road from Kibithu to Kandao, which will be another 52-kilometer road. BRO has sought the feasibility reports of both these roads. And as you can see, this road is very, looks like a very crucial road because it's right next to the LSC. It's almost taking the road right next to the LSC. So again, a very, very crucial border road for the fast movement of our troops. There are other two roads also being built. One road will be from Kuting. This is also, as you can see, very close to the border with China. And this is a road which is being built uh, from Tuting to a place called Muirbe and onward to Bame, this area about 58 km long. And the third road and the fourth road, which is being built, is from Tapa to Hush to Delhi in the border area also of Arunachal, which will be about 107 km road, which is planned. So, totaling all these four roads together will be totaling about 300 km. The, uh, the DPRs of these, the feasibility reports of these, have been sought by the BRO and top common sourcing selling news 18 that all these roads are strategic projects in different districts of Arunachal Pradesh and will have both socio-economic as well as strategic impact. Uh, the border area movement will be swift, the roads will connect places which are still not collected even after so many years and the road could also lead to tourism once these roads are made as part of the Arunachal Frontier Highway which is being planned in the state. There are no roads connecting the above mentioned stretches at present, that is what we are told by our sources in any road for that matter which is running parallel to the LSC it does not only put the India's adversaries on the back foot, but also India's reaction. Pan Arunachal becomes very swift and in fact, Bayaro has plans to build roads in various other parts of Arunachal as well. And China, this also comes in the light of China, has been constantly provoking India on the issue of Arunachal Pradesh. It objected to, if you remember, India holding a G20 meeting in Itanagar recently. China had last month also issued a distorted map of its territory showing Arunachal Pradesh as a part of China. India has strongly protested to add China's actions on both these counts and reiterated that Arunachal Pradesh remains an integral part of India. In fact, the Ministry of External Affairs in a statement had said that such moves only complicate the resolution of the boundary question and it termed China's moves as baseless and absurd.